Good evening, everybody. This is North Carolina Prepper. Uh, I'm redoing the bed. As you can see, I had it up on buckets before for storage, and I just kept stuff under it. As you can see, the buckets were splitting a lot, so I decided to remove those and rebuild the whole thing. Went down to Home Depot and bought some wood, particle board. I wanted it heavy. I wanted it big. And then um, I prepared to paint it. Don't know where my paint mixer went. Obviously, I just treated it. And it ran off, so here's what I've come up with. If the wife doesn't find out, I'll survive the night. If she does, I'm a dead man. So let me go ahead and mix this up. I'll be back. So here's the wood all painted before I started cutting on it. Um, went ahead and made a basic box frame, 60 by 80 and 24 inches deep. That'll give me about 115 cubic, uh, 100, yeah, 115 cubic uh, inches of space, or 1,000, 1,000. Uh, I made it level across there so the frame would sit down on it. This is one of my old futons I was going to throw out, so I made the frame out of that instead. Here's another view of the rails going across. I uh, puttied up those on top so it'd be a solid piece and the rails are bolted in. And here it is assembled with hinges in the back. I got a board to hold it up. It's pretty heavy, but it's very, very sturdy. And here it is. I want to make sure the dog can jump up on there because it is kind of high. Uh, the end result <clears throat> with the mattress on it is 33 inches high. Um, so it's pretty thick. It's pretty high. Uh, I want to make sure she can jump on it. If one day she can't, I will build a dais or a step up for her to uh, be able to get up there. Or I may just take a skill saw and run around and shorten the whole thing. It would be very, very easy just to cut it down. And here's a close-up look of the measurement uh, by her. I wanted to focus in that it is 33 inches tall. So like I said, it, it's pretty tall. Which gives me a lot of space for other mods in the upcoming videos that I'm going to do when I get around to it. I'm going to build a headboard for it, and I'm going to build a hidden compartment inside there. Locking, probably locking. And so here's just another view of it. It's pretty high. Uh, I'm going to have to upgrade to a king size uh, sheet on top instead of a queen. Like I said, it's 60 by 80 by 24 deep. So there is just a tremendous amount of space under there. And here, I to lift it up, I just put a piece of rope in there and bolted it down. And that will tuck under the mattress. Uh, that's how I lift it at the end. Uh, later on, I may put hydraulic lifts in there. I may not. It just depends. Probably not, because I won't be under there that often. It's just like I said, this is just storage thing that I use very rarely. And that's my, my handle to lift with. And here's another view of the stick I used to hold it up. I just uh, made it fit in the slot on top and a slot in the bottom for it to hold it up. And when we get in and out of there, just to hold it up. Kind of like the hood on your car. And here it is, loaded with stuff under there. Uh, this is more stuff than was actually on before. Those are three gallon buckets. They will easily, I made it easily fit five gallon buckets for food storage. On the back, in the back two buckets are rice and there's some sugar and some popcorn and just miscellaneous boxes. But I can stuff the, the filing boxes two, two, uh, on top of each other. So there you go. It's a storage bed prepper style. Uh, please rate, subscribe, and please ask questions. Left that pepper out.